Good evening. This is All India Radio and I am Nishit Kumar with the news at 9. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says collaborate to create vision for sustainable growth is need of the day. Government assures Yes Bank depositors that their money is safe. RBI working for an early resolution of the crisis says Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman. States asked to monitor airport management for ensuring effective screening of passengers in wake of novel coronavirus. No new case detected in the country. Parliament adjourned till 11th March Lok Sabha passes mineral laws amendment bill and insolvency and bankruptcy court second amendment bill and in Afghanistan 27 people killed in a shooting incident in Kabul Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that coronavirus is a big challenge for the world and there is need for collaborative efforts to overcome it addressing the economic times global business summit in new delhi this evening mr modi said every era brings new challenges to test and strengthen the collaborate to create spirit he said the vision of collaborate to create for sustainable growth is a necessity of today and also the basis of future corona virus iske roop mein ek bahut bada challenge ek duniya ke samne ubhar kar ke aaya hai financial institutions ne ise aarthik jagat ke liye ek bhi bahut bada challenge mana hai आज हम सब को मिलकर इस चुनौती का सामना करना है कोलोबरेट टू क्रिएट की संकल्प शक्ति से हमें विजयी होना है सस्टेनेबल ग्रोथ के लिए कोलोबरेट टू क्रिएट का ये विजन आज की आवश्यकता भी है और भविष्य का आधार भी है Mr Modi said development and delivery of good governance is not a matter of convenience but it is the conviction of his government he said democratization due to information technology has allowed even the voice from the lowest strata of society to be heard and there is a need to have a deep look at the real fractures in the systems the prime minister said when he came to power a vast section of society was deprived of basic needs like gas connection roads water electricity toilets and his dispensation has always given priority to aspirations of average indian hamari sarkar desh ki tamam vyavasthaon ko purane vicharon ki qaid se mukti dilane ke liye ek ke baad ek kadam uthati chali ja rahi hai ek ek karke hum har sector ko convenience of inaction se bahar nikal rahe hain Hitting out at the opposition Mr Modi said people who preach on rights of refugees in entire world are opposing the citizenship amendment act meant for the refugees he further said those who refer to the constitution and every matter are against implementation of constitution in jammu and kashmir through abrogation of article 370 he said the policies of the government are clear and fundamentals of the country are strong Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman has assured depositors of Yes Bank that their money is safe and said the RBI is working for an early resolution of the crisis. She said restructuring plan given by RBI will be implemented in the next 30 days to safeguard interest of depositors. Briefing media in New Delhi this evening, Ms Sita Raman said employment salary of employees of Yes Bank is sure for one year and deposits liabilities will be unaffected. our government is completely committed to ensure that the depositors interest is completely safeguarded equally i want the rbi to ensure that due process of law is set to roll with a sense of urgency so that we should find out as to who led to this problem of this size and magnitude in the yes bank The minister said government and RBI were monitoring Yes Bank matter continuously from 2017 and noticed governance issues, weak compliance and wrong asset classification. The minister said probe agencies saw some Yes Bank management indulged in mall practice. She said cleaning up of Yes Bank commenced after the management change took place in 2018. Ms Sita Raman said RBI will go into assessing what went wrong with Yes Bank and government has asked the central bank to identify the role of individuals in Yes Bank problems. The RBI today said that State Bank of India has expressed willingness to invest in crisis ridden Yes Bank. In a draft Yes Bank Limited Reconstruction Scheme 2020, the RBI also said the strategic investor bank will have to pick up 49% stake and it cannot reduce holding to below 27, 26% before 3 years from the date of capital infusion. 
Union Health Minister Dr. Harshwardhan asked the states to monitor the airport management in coordination with the concerned airport public health officers and airport managers to ensure effective screening of passengers. The minister today reviewed the actions and preparedness for management of novel coronavirus at a meeting through video conferencing with chief secretaries and health ministers of all states and representatives from the related organizations. During the meeting, the revised travel advisory as well as advisory about the mass gatherings were reviewed and shared with the states. He also reviewed the status of preparedness in terms of availability of beds, isolation wards, laboratory readiness for high test volumes. The minister also added that a workshop come training session was held today for healthcare workers on precautionary measures and self-protection. States and union territories were also advised to conduct training workshops. No new case of coronavirus has been detected and the number of confirmed cases in the country remained at 31. Special Secretary Health and Family Welfare Sanjeev Kumar said this while briefing media this evening in New Delhi. Since morning, there has been no new cases of COVID-19. The number of confirmed cases in the country remains at 31. Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare held a video conferencing with health ministers and secretaries of all states and UTs and requested them to remain prepared in terms of availability of beds, wards for isolation and labs to conduct tests. Mr. Kumar informed that the Cabinet Secretary also reviewed the present status and preparedness from various ministries on COVID-19 today. A decision on suspension of biometric attendance till the 31st of this month was taken during the review meeting. He also said all central ministries and departments with hospital facilities have been asked to identify isolation beds and quarantine facility to be put to use as and when required. Talking about airport screening, Mr. Kumar said 7,22,775 international passengers from 7,081 flights have been screened at the 30 airports so far. He said a general advisory from the health ministry has been shared with all the states and union territories suggesting that mass gathering must be avoided or possibly postponed in view of COVID-19. Civil Aviation Minister Hardeep Puri today said that the government is in the process to rescue Indian nationals from Iran like Wuhan. Briefing reporters in New Delhi today, Mr. Puri said advanced testing facilities for the virus has been set up in Iran to screen Indians before bringing them to India. He said Air India has waived the cancellation charges of passengers due to coronavirus outbreak. Briefing media in New Delhi, Union Minister Giridaj Singh said poultry, fish and meat are totally safe for consumption as coronavirus does not affect them. He said that World Animal Health Organization in its report has stated that the virus is transmitted predominantly through human-to-human -human interaction. Both the Houses of Parliament were adjourned today till 11th of March amid noisy scenes in both the Houses by the opposition who were demanding a discussion on the Delhi violence. Lok Sabha was adjourned after the House passed two bills without discussion and made noisy scenes. There were the Mineral Laws Amendment Bill 2020 and the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code Second Amendment Bill 2019. Parliamentary Affairs Minister Prahlad Joshi has said that the Lok Sabha Speaker will constitute a committee comprising members of all parties to study the sequence of incidents that have taken place in the House in the first week of the second part of the budget session. The Rajya Sabha was adjourned for the fifth consecutive day today following noisy scenes by opposition demanding immediate discussion on Delhi violence. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, visit our News on AIR app and follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. You can also visit our website www.newsonair.com. <laughs> आज का भारत जानता है कि जब देश की बेटी खड़ी होती है तभी जीत बड़ी होती है जीत बड़ी जीत रहा है देश नारी को सम्मान देकर शौचालय बनवाकर शौच सुबह के अंधेरे में जाओ या रात को शौचालय बना तो अंधेरा छटा जीत बड़ी जीत बड़ी कर रहा है देश उज्ज्वला योजना से महिलाओं को धुएं ऐसी आजाद कर रसोई ऐसी तो बस अम्मा के खांसने की आवाज़ आती थी अब देखो गुनगुनाती भी है जीत बड़ी दिख रही है ये जीत जब घर हो रहे हैं महिलाओं के नाम प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना से पहले सिर्फ नाम की घरवाली थी अभी सच की घरवाली वाली आठ करोड़ गैस कनेक्शन ग्यारह करोड़ शौचालय और मुद्रा योजना से पंद्रह करोड़ महिलाओं को लाभ भारत सरकार के ऐसे कई कदमों से ये साबित हो रहा है कि जब देश की बेटी खड़ी होती है तभी जीत बड़ी होती है हर एक काम देश के नाम भारत सरकार द्वारा जनहित में जारी 
The International Women's Day will be celebrated on the 8th of this month. In the run-up to this occasion, we are highlighting exemplary performances, struggles and key contribution of women from across the country. Our Imphal correspondent has filed this report on women empowerment through self-help groups. Women living in a village named Kurkul has shown the light of empowerment through organizing a success in self-help group. The village is situated around 20 kilometers away from Imphal in 2017 with the help of government agencies like NCUI and over 20 different self-help groups were formed under one federation in this village. Today, the federation has been conducting income generation projects in various fields. The women of this village have now self-sufficient in terms of monetary and feel empowered on their achievement. I am Pulisabam Rojita. Now we can earn and help in the maintenance of our family and we feel more confident in our work. Many government agencies have also provided monetary and skill training facilities to the groups. This is JJ Thoksom from Imphal for AIR News. Centre has directed all states and union territories to organise special Gram Sabhas and Mahila Sabhas in all Gram Panchayats on Sunday to mark the International Women's Day. In Afghanistan, at least 27 people, including women and children, have been killed and 29 injured in a shooting incident in the capital, Kabul, today. The incident occurred at a remembrance ceremony for a minority Shiite leader, Abdul Ali Mazari, who was killed in 1995 by the Taliban. President Ashraf Ghani condemned the massacre, calling it a crime against humanity. The Taliban immediately denied any involvement in the attack. U.S. President Donald Trump today signed a 8.3 billion U.S. dollars measure to help tackle the coronavirus outbreak that has killed 12 people in the U.S. and infected more than 200. The legislation provides federal public health agencies with money for vaccines, tests and potential treatments and helps state and local governments prepare and respond to the threat. The Senate passed the legislation yesterday to help tackle the outbreak. India, in its maiden final, will take on four-time champions Australia in the ICC Women's T20 World Cup at Melbourne on Sunday. India will have the psychological advantage going into the final as they had stunned the defending champions by 17 runs in the tournament opener. The upcoming combined shooting World Cup in New Delhi has been postponed today while an Olympic test event in Tokyo has been cancelled due to the global novel coronavirus outbreak. The tournament, sanctioned by the International Shooting Sport Federation, ISSF, was to be held from March 15 to 25th in the capital's Dr. Karne Singh shooting range. Indian Grandmaster Dronavali Harika posted a second straight win, beating Nana Zagnitze in the fourth round to remain in joint lead at the FIDE Women's Grand Prix Chess Tournament at Lausanne in Switzerland. Heavy rains and thunderstorms last parts of Delhi and national capital region today evening, bringing down temperature. There was also a huge traffic jam en route Delhi airport as people were seen making their way out on major roads in Delhi. In Rajasthan, heavy rain occurred today in many districts of the state. Our correspondent has reported huge damage to crops. Apart from Jaipur, there are reports of heavy rain from several districts including Sri Ganganagar, Churu, Jodhpur, Badmir and Junjunu. Incidents of lightning and collapse of houses have been reported from some places in Kama region of the district. One person died and more than 15 others injured. Rescue and relief operations are going on in the area. Heavy storms have damaged crops in 15 districts. Government has issued directions of a special survey in affected districts. Jitendra Zivedi, AIR News, Jaipur. Widespread rains lashed several parts of Punjab and Haryana today, triggering fear among farmers about damage to wheat crop. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says collaborate to create vision for sustainable growth is need of the day. Government assures Yes Bank depositors that their money is safe. RBI working for an early resolution of the crisis, says Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman. States asked to monitor airport management for ensuring effective screening of passengers in wake of novel coronavirus. No new case detected in the country. Parliament adjourned till 11th March. Lok Sabha passes Mineral Laws Amendment Bill, an Insolvency and Bankruptcy Court Second Amendment Bill. And in Afghanistan, 27 people killed in a shooting incident in Kabul. For details of this story and more, log on to our website, newsonair.com and newsonair.rap. And that is all in the news at 9. Good night.